Ford cuts gas mileage ratings, Tesla opens its patents, and the Nissan Leaf goes on the attack. It's the week in reverse, right here at Green Car Reports. Ford says it will slash fuel economy ratings on the Fusion and Lincoln MKZ hybrids, on the C-Max and Fusion plug-in hybrids, and on the Fiesta subcompact, after its official ratings were called into question. Ford's explanation? Math is hard. It says the overly high gas mileage numbers were due to an error calculating the effect of aero drag, but what did they leave unanswered? Read more in today's GCR report. The good news is we've driven a Fiesta equipped with Ford's new 1.0-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder engine. It's the smallest power plant Ford has ever sold in the U.S., and here the mileage numbers aren't in question. The little Fiesta gave us a reliable 40 mile per gallon plus rating. Tesla keeps trying to destroy other people's capital creatively. This week, ever informative Tesla CEO Elon Musk told the press that Tesla would open its patents to other automakers. There's a catch though. Tesla's supercharger DC fast charging standard will be open source so long as other automakers agree to provide free electric car recharging. At BMW, the i3 extended range electric vehicle is already making its name as an ambassador. So far, the early buyers of the i3, both with and without the range extending engine option, are new to the BMW brand. Those so-called conquest buyers are the most valuable to car makers, and like Chevrolet and Nissan, BMW is learning that electric cars are unlike any other kind of vehicle in the customers they attract. And finally this week, the revered Japanese TV show Ultraman has put Nissan's electric leaf on the attack. The show transformed a Leaf, and also a Nissan ENV200 electric delivery van, into futuristic attack vehicles, giving the pioneering EV something it hasn't yet seen in production. Freaking laser beams on the roof.